and girls. It is that marvelous time again here at uh, Living in Chrysalis where I depot things. Yay! I've already depotted everything of mine that I plan on doing. So, lucky for me, my friend has some things that need doing. Now, I talked her into getting a Z palette, but as you can see, don't really have much happening in there. But the project today is a rather odd little piece. She bought this at, on, on a flight to Taiwan. It's in uh, with Sky Mall. It's a Clinique palette. So, you, so when you open it up, you get four eyeshadow trios. There was an eyeliner, a couple of um, brushes, and a mascara there. Now, you're thinking, why is this so fat? Is there something else in there besides just these hollow, the hollow for the mascara? So I started playing around with it, and I saw this little flap. I'm like, oh, okay, there might be something else in there. Really? That's what that is. So this is going to be fun to tear apart. And I'll probably send Georgia Harris the mirror. <laughs> it was probably pretty once upon a time. The, uh, the, the cover is actually leather of all the odd things. But I'm going to try go on, going about the depotting the easy way first. So let me just move you down. Yes, again, I'm wearing a bathrobe because... I'm treating y'all like guests in my home. All right, so I'm I'm gonna try the easy way. This is actually a knife, like a paring knife or something. I I I actually got it for free for registering for um for cutlery or silverware, and I broke the tip off of it. I don't know if. You, I broke the tip off it, uh, depotting my Urban Decay Fetish Blush. So, I was kind of poking around in here a little bit the other night, and I think I could just maybe pry some of these out. All right, here we go. Now, it did start to crack a little bit. I'm starting with the section Violets and Blues, because, A, she, you know, well, really, because she doesn't care about these colors. Um, she said that purple makes her look like a corpse and I, I can't disagree but figure I might get the benefit of those since I look fantastic in purple Oop, okay let's try not to dig that out while we're at it let's... all right come on yeah there we go the nice thing about this knife is it's quite thin all right you know what Hang on. Here we go. There's a nice spot there. Now, if this doesn't come out the easy way, I do have a lighter. Then I'd have to tear this whole thing apart, which would be fun, but messy. So let me see if I can do it the nice way first. Okay, so it's a little cracked there. Not terribly worried about it. Not bad at all. There's some glue on the back, but I'm not going to wipe it off yet because... I may actually need it for another purpose. Oh, crap. Okay, here we are. All right, a uh, little more. Be patient, lady. I love depotting so much. It's been so long. I hope I haven't lost the knack. Not to worry, I'm sure I'll... Get my groove back. All right. A little bit of damage to that one, which is kind of a shame because they were, other than my own swatching, essentially pristine. All right. Now I'll move on to the shades that she's actually interested in. Here we go. The pinks. The pink eyeshadow looks lovely on her, which is so funny that the pinks look nice, but the purples look like death, but I'm pale. She's translucent. <laughs> She's almost see-through. Okay. 
And there's a little bit of crack in there, but you may hit it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. We'll see. See how that bears up. Now, I know it's been years since she took that trip, so I think the glue would have loosened up a bit more. But, ah, well. Okay. And peeky, 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 there we go. Now, I actually went online to try to learn the name of this palette, and I did find another one on Poshmark. It had the same contents, but, um, but the cover was a little different. It was just silver, and the seller didn't list a proper name of the palette. There's not one on the back. It just lists what the shades are and and kind of breaks it down like that. All right, let's get into the greens here. Oh, that's kind of close there. Let me do here, maybe? Yeah, here. Let's go there. Yes! As much fun as it would have been to tear it apart and light the plastic from the bottom. It's This is just way easier. I'd considered trying to do this as an ASMR video, but I can't be trusted to shut my yap long enough at this point in life. That, I think, to do ASMR, you really need a good microphone, which I have a microphone, but what I don't have is internet on my accent on my computer to actually do any editing and upload things. So I gotta work on that issue. All right, that was the goldens to greens. Now I'm just gonna hit the nudes. Eesh. Okay, dokie. Yay. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna just press it down a little bit. Now, I had been holding this for a bit because we'd hoped to get some more of her things and you know, just have me do one big depotting party. However, it appears that one of her daughters seems to have made off with a large portion of her makeup collection. She said she opened the drawer and oh, <laughs> essentially all this stuff was gone. <sighs> 19 year olds, what are you gonna do with them? All right, so we're good there. I will hold that for a minute. Then I'm going to flip it over to the back here because here we've got the label with the names. And while there's mostly abbreviations, I would like to make some use of the sticker. Oh, shoot, I forgot scissors. I'm going to pause for a sec. All right, here we go. Back to business. Really? Oh, come on. I really want to use the labels. I mean, I don't have to, but it'd be nice. Please? Please don't annoy me. Let me just take the label. So I don't have any stickers. Okay. You know what? That'll work. Try not to rush it. Go nice and slow. Oh, that's kind of satisfying right there. I don't know if you can see, but it's there's still it's still stuck to there, just peeling up a layer. Okay, let's get back into it. Ah, uh, okay. See, now we're starting to get into trouble here. Okay, you know what? Let me start here. So I can salvage some of these. Uh, 
just for fun. Oh, my first question is, are these magnetic? Yes. Excellent. It's not just the glue. I can feel, I can feel the pull. Right? That is. Yeah, that's definitely magnetic. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. All right, here we go with the stickers, the stickers. Well, it's not really a sticker anymore, but I've left glue on the back, so let's see if that'll be sufficient. Perhaps. Yep. Lilac Whisper. Excellent. Oh, found a little chip out of there. Yeah. Oh, well. It's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Clear label. I'll clean up the edges in a bit. Bend that too much. Yeah, it's all right. It'll be fine. Oops. Let's try not to drop the scissors and make a giant mess. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Cool. All right. All right, I seem to have lost the label for the grains and golds. Ah, it fell. All right, here we go. It's really, the print is really, really fine. It's actually a bit of a strain to see it, especially now that the foil's kind of crumpled, but it's all right. We'll sort it out. Okay. So this would be the green and golds. So that's these ones, right? Yeah. That's green. That's the darker color. What does this say it is? A pink chocolate quad. Okay. And then what's this shade called? Oh, no wonder I grabbed the wrong ones. It's not the golds to greens. It is the pinks. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, here we go. Here's label for the pink one. Shade from Lovely Dovely Duo. Whatever that means. Hmm. If I have to, I have brush on nail glue, but I think I may be okay without it. Just gotta clean that up a bit. Hmm. And here are the two. It's one. Some One's much darker than the other. Shade from pink. Chocolate's quad. I think that's this one. Right. 
Excellent. One, two down, two to go for labels. Let's see if we can get to get to label the rest of it or if I'm just out of luck. Label is proving trickier than I expected. Although why, I don't know, because I should have expected it to be problematic. This palette's rather old. Yeah, here we go. we go with an extra bit of paper there. All right, I'll just cut that off. There, right there. This has been kind of a fun challenge. The label alone is kind of obnoxious. All right. Well, okay. I got cut a little bit, but not so bad. Darn it. Okay. All right, here we go. Like I said, I don't think she's actually going to care about the labels. That's more just me being me. All right. So this is more of a browny or greeny brown, slightly greenish brown mostly brown. I keep trying to not go out of frame. Sometimes it's kind of hard. All right. Okay. Let's see if I can do this or not. Here's the green. See, we got some glue left there, thank goodness, because boy, I can really use it. Mm, okay, that's peeling up a bit, so in a minute I'll go get my nail glue. I want to uh, put this other label on first, at least as much as I can. Okay, here we go. The shade is actually just called, oh, hey, I don't need the rest of this label. It's just called buff. Huh, cool. Well, that makes life easier. I can just itty bitty, itty bitty label there. And one last label set. There's a, like a chocolate brown and sort of a goldy color. Gold Rush, that's a no. Sable, yeah. Sable. Then Gold Rush. Ooh. Should have thought of that earlier. Coming along, it's coming along. Oops, and 
and this one is called Daybreak. That's a pretty color. That's what I've got. All right, so those are the additions to her palettes, or to her palette. <laughs> I know, right? Have fun. I said, I'm a, I'm a depotting monster. I could do this all the time. I don't have enough money to buy all the stuff I would want to depot. Now comes the really fun part. Here's a mirror. Here's the label. I'm going to cut through the leather and everything and put it in my send to Georgia Harris batch I'm working on. She's doing some sort of project using mirrors from cosmetics. I'm very curious what the project will be, but uh, rather than just send a couple at a time, I, I want to just send a batch because, you know, postage. All right, so there we go. One severed mirror for the collection. My friend Z palette further stocked, and I'll take these purples off of her, which is excellent because I have a spot in my Z palette that I have saved for these guys. And then it'll be full, and that'll be awesome because then I won't be tempted to get any more singles for that.